you have a row or maybe multiple rows in a Google Sheet and want to copy that automatically to another sheet? I'm Chanel Greco from Superis, and in this video, I'll show you how you can copy multiple roles from one sheet to another by using Google Apps Script. Let's start out with copying a row, or in this case, multiple roles, by using the set value method. And to do so, I'm going to now, first of all, rename this sheet. Let's call it source. And I'm going to create a second blank sheet, and I'm going to rename that to target. And these are the two sheets. So we're going to be copying our data, these rows, six in total, over here to this second sheet, which we've called target. So go ahead and start up um, the editor, the script editor. And first up, we're what we're going to do is we're going to rename this function. Let's call this copy rows with set values. Whoops, there you go. And now let's go back. And now we're going to say we're going to get a spreadsheet from our spreadsheet app. Get active. And what we want is get active spreadsheet, semicolon to close that statement out and then we're going to create a source sheet. So just to make it a bit easier for you to follow along, I'm being very specific with these variable names I'm creating and that's why I'm not just going to simply call this um, sheet, but I'm going to call it source sheet. So here we're going to reference our get sheet by name. And that's why I called this source before. And now I'm going to call it source range. So that's, I'm going to go and get the range of the data and I'm going to store it in the variable of source range. And here I get my source sheet and I'm going to say get and I'm going to use data range for this. I don't know if you know this method, but what it does is it gets all the the whole range of whatever in the sheet has values. So I don't have to actually have to go and search for the last column or the last row that has a value. Instead, get data range does that for me. So if you don't know that method, go ahead and check it out. It's pretty cool. And I'm going to store the values of our, of our first sheet into a variable source values. So I'm going to say source range dot get values. And as you see here, it's going to give me back a two dimensional array. There you go. So let's close that out. That's pretty good. What we've done so far is we've gotten the data range where we have our data in, or the range where we have our data in, yeah, and we've gotten the values out. Now we have to focus on the target sheet, which we've named target, and we need to get that, and then we need to specify in which range we want to write this data. And when we're using the set values method, then we need to be very specific with that data range, so it has to correspond to the amount or the count of rows and columns that we will be writing into. And that's the reason why I want to now find out how many rows do we have in our data so that I know how many rows am I going to write in the target sheet. So I'm creating a variable of row count and I'll be doing this source values, oops, wrong place, source values, dot length. So that will give me the amount of roles, uh, not roles, rows that I've copied and that I will be writing into target, uh, target sheet. And now I want the columns. Uh, column, column count. There you go. And this again is our source values dot, uh, sorry, this time it's position zero or not position index zero in our array dot length. 
By the way, I have a video about how you can um, loop through array, arrays uh, where I explain this a little bit more in depth. I will be linking this because this is basic knowledge that we need about arrays and also about two-dimensional arrays when we're dealing with data in Google Sheets. Okay, so now I have this information and the next step is to get our target sheet. I'm going to call it target sheet and um, I need my spreadsheet again for this and I'm going to get the sheet. Oops, get the sheet. I hate when the autocomplete doesn't come on. Get sheet by name and the name we're searching for is target. That's the name we gave that sheet. Good. And now I'm going to create or going, I'm going to get the target range. Also here I'm being very specific with these names or explicit with these names that I've been choosing. So I'm, I'm getting the target sheet. Now I say get range. And what we will be using is, let me just see this one here. So we want to um, define where the row we're going to start writing the data into the column and then how many role, roles and how many columns. I keep on tripping over rows. It's rows, not roles. There you go. So we're going to start at one and one. And then this is what we created this for row count here and row count here. There you go. Then we're going to close this out again. And now the last thing we want to do is say um, target range dot set values. What values do we want to say or set? Well, the source values that we have copied. So let's do like so. Let's save this. Um, already the first step was to save the document. There were no syntax errors, so what, what, whatever we've written here now is valid Google Apps Script. Um, it's the copy rows with set values that we want to run. Let's hit the Run button. It's executing this now. Since this, this is the first time that I'm running this script, it's asking me for permission. So I'm going to go ahead and grant permission. There you go. So if this has worked as expected, then let's go back to our document. Here's our source. Here's our target. There you go. So that worked perfectly fine. That's copying rows, rows from one sheet to another sheet using the set values method. As I said, there's also a second possibility how we can copy rows from one sheet to the other, and that's what we're going to look at now. Interested in learning how to automate Google Sheets with Google Apps Script? Well, then head over to courses.saparis.io and check out my online course that I offer. To demonstrate how the copy to method works, um, I first, in our target, um, in our target sheet. I'm going to go ahead and delete this data here because we do want to make sure or we do want to verify that also the copy to method works. So we'll be using this exact same target sheet. That's why I'm deleting the values here. And let's go back over to our script editor and let's write our second function. This function we're going to call uh, a little bit differently or we're going to name it a little bit differently. Copy rows with copy to. Now this probably doesn't sound like a very sensible name for um, for a function and it's actually not. I'm just naming it this way so that it's absolutely clear for you what I'm doing. But for you, you would probably, you know, be using this in some sort of automation script and it would be serving a purpose. So you would name the function after this purpose it's serving. So just to make things a little bit easier, let me go ahead and copy paste this code up here because it's this exact same thing. We're getting our active spreadsheet we're getting our source sheet and this time we're going to do something a little bit different although this here is the same this step so getting our data range but now we're going to jump to our target sheet so we're getting our target sheet so we have our source sheet we have our target sheet on the other hand and what we now do is source range dot copy to 
we define our target sheet as the sheet we want to copy this data to and we say get range where one so start whoop, my mistake start at row one column one and write the data in there so that looks good let me save this if it throws no syntax errors, then it's valid Google Apps Script. It is very good. Now up here, obviously, we have to choose our copy rows with copy two. So that's this function here now that we will be executing. Let me run this code. Okay, looks good. We go back over to our sheet, target sheet. There's our data. Perfect. Worked like a charm. So the question that is still unanswered is, when you're copying rows from one sheet to the other, which should you use? Set values or copy two? Or should you maybe use one or the other depending on the situation? Well, when we're coding, when we're automating something, we always have to keep in mind what's our setting, what are we doing, and what for constraints do the methods have that we're using? So if you look at our code here, I mean, it's obvious that we're doing exactly the same things, but this second function here where we're using the copy to method, it's much faster, it's easier to write, it's easier to understand. So in this specific setting, I think you're better off using the copy to method, but that won't always be the case. Let's have a look at the specifications from the Google Apps Script. Um, reference document. So what set values does or what it expects is, no, let's say what it does, sets a rectangular grid of values and must match dimensions of this range. Okay, so, so far so good. We have our range and we're taking exactly that amount of data and we're putting it in another range and that corresponds. Perfect. But here is something that we have to keep in mind. What the set values method expects as a parameter here that it gets passed is a two dimensional array of values. That's exactly what we're passing in here. Where is it? Can't find it. Uh, here, source values, that's, those are values that we're passing in. So if I were to pass in a range, as we're doing here, then that would throw an error. That would not work. Why? Because it's expecting a two-dimensional array of values, and it has to be two-dimensional. So if you have a one-dimensional array of values, it won't work either. Okay, on to our second method, copy to destination, copies the data from a range of cells to another range of cells. Both the values and formatting are copied. By the way, there are other types of copy to that you might also want to consider depending on your situation. So what we wanted, this copy to, the simple one with just this destination parameter was enough, but there are other copy to methods that require more parameters. Maybe even you don't want to take, um, you don't want to copy the formatting. Well, there's a method for that. But in this case, what we need here, or, or the parameter we need here is a destination, and this is the crucial part, range to copy to. Only the top left cell is relevant. Okay, so this requires a range. If we were to um, pass in um, a two-dimensional array of values, then that wouldn't work because that's not what this method requires as a parameter. So that's what I mean with, depending on your situation, you need to use either the set values method or the get uh, or copy to method. Now, the situation we had, you're perfectly fine with using the copy to, copy to because we're taking a whole range and we're simply writing it into another sheet. But what if we're from our source sheet, we're taking all the values, we might be filtering out. So we might only want to, to you know, copy those rows that meet a specific criteria. So let's go back to our example. We might only want to copy out the rows that have um, numbers here that are greater 30. Well, in that case, I can't just take the whole range. I have to take the range, get the values, look at the, whatever's in column B, and then take only those values. And then with the set values method, I write it into a new sheet. So that's when I would choose one or the other.
Let me know if my explanation of how to copy rows from one sheet to another was useful. And do check out my other Google Apps Script tutorial videos. And would you mind subscribing to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below? Because every week I publish new tutorial videos also about Google Apps Script and I would not want you to miss out on any of those videos.